is up you guys welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here if you are new here my name is Brianna I do lots of lifestyle college fashion related content here on my channel and college content is kickstarting with today's video so today's video I'm going to be doing like a prep for the semester for 2022 and this is my last semester of college ever I will be graduating this May so yeah my last prep for this semester video and my last bunch of college content so i'm really excited and i really hope you guys subscribe i just woke up i need to like fix up my hair later like i'm enjoying my pjs but i'm gonna go and make some breakfast and make some coffee and then we'll come back to my room so yeah i hope you guys enjoy the video and let's go and do that first <laughs> I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so down, yeah Can you tell me why, can you tell me why I'm down, yeah No friends of mine Okay you guys, I'm now back in my desk, back in my room I just got ready for the day, I fixed up my hair Threw my glasses, this top is from Princess Polly It was in my haul And I'm actually wearing the Princess Polly pants for a different outfit Because it's freezing and I didn't want to put the shorts on So now I'm cozy, finishing up my coffee and before we get started with this prep, I'm going to make I'm gonna make a little list of everything that I want to do for my prep. And also gives me a little outline of what I'm going to be um, showing with you guys and some tips I have. I just want to make sure I have everything set so I don't forget to do it or mention it. I'm gonna use my little dotted notebook here. I got this from Amazon. I will link it below for you guys. I love it and I use it all the time. I'm not gonna say that I make it to do this every day. I do try to, especially on days where I know I have a lot going on. So this really helps keep me like in check. I just finished writing out a little list. I did a little semester prep checklist for 2022. You guys will see me go through each thing and then we'll cross it off. So I don't need to really read it out loud to you. It's kind of just for me to stay on top of what I want to do. Just to give you guys a little overview. So like I said, I'm graduating this May. I'm a senior and my major is psychology with the clinical social work track and my minor is social service advocacy. So this semester I'm taking four classes for 12 credits. I did 16 credits last semester so all I had left was 12. So I'm going to talk about my schedule first before we get started. So all of these are kind of like my tips that I'm sharing with you guys um, that you can implement and take into your semester into your prep as somebody who is a 4.0 student not that you need a 4.0 to be a good student but for some of you who are always looking up to me for motivation or for you know you love my productivity and it inspires you to work hard I feel like these things that I do to prep help you in having a better more successful semester if you feel like you you know maybe slacked off last semester as long as you try your best but i feel like these are like my keys to success and these in a way as i'm talking through it take it as like my tips um as well because that's really what they are i do these things to prep and it allows me to have a productive and good semester so let's get started so i'm going to tell you guys what classes i'm taking and then i'm going to actually write down my schedule on a post-it i used to not use post-its but i actually really like it especially on days where i'm home or i have like assignments and i want to put it on my desk over here i'll show you guys later um i find i found them helpful because when i was done i can like rip it off i don't know just something i've added that i found useful especially last semester when i was super busy so also update my first week of classes as of right now are virtual and then we're supposed to be going back to whatever classes we have in person starting the first week of February. So my four classes are a crim class called Police and Society, um, another crim class called Hate Crimes, I have my Psych Senior Seminar class, and a Nutrition and Wellness class. The Police one is a fully online, a fully online course. Hate Crimes I go in person to, and then my Senior Seminar is also um online but via zoom i had that same professor for psych last semester we just did zoom and then my nutrition and wellness is also in person on campus so that is my schedule i'm going to write it out now
just wrote my sticky note with my schedule and really quickly before I continue I don't want to keep talking too too much but two new things that I got my friend actually got me for Christmas is this monthly desk planner it's like those huge ones but this one is a little different I'll show you an up close when I start filling it out but I think I'm gonna use this for like my content creating and I'm thinking of putting it behind there I don't know we're gonna do some desk organization as well but I just thought I would show you guys and I'll show you an up close it, um it's bliss collections desk planner so yeah once i'm done with the month i can tear it off i'm happy that i have this i'm going to fill this out um as well but another thing that will really help maximize my productivity since i'm always at my desk i'm always on my computer she knows me very well is one of these extendable laptop bands it's perfect also to help with like my posture and sitting up like i said since i'm always at my desk and since i do have still online classes so now what i'm actually going to be doing is making new folders on my desktop this just helps me keep everything organized on my computer so i'll make a folder with like spring semester all the classes have their own subfolders and then once i download anything for each class i can just drag it into the folder like the textbooks because i do get my textbooks online i personally prefer all my books to be digital because i like to highlight from there and since a lot of the assignments now are like discussion boards and things like that it's really easy for me to just have a digital textbook to open on one side and then I can type my discussion and reference back to it. So let's make some folders and then I'm going to pull up um, each class on my blackboard, look through the syllabus and also download each syllabus so that after we can start writing out the tentative schedules in my planner. Also I made color coded um, each class. I love to do that too to keep me organized. I know which uh, class when I'm writing down my monthly. I know what class that is and what assignment I have coming up. syllabus so make sure you're reading through the whole syllabus that you receive if your professors post I know maybe not all do but mine do and mine usually also include a tentative course schedule which is so helpful for me because I'm such a visual, visual person I love writing every single assignment down so what I'm gonna do now is fill in my planner every single assignment so if you guys can see here it'll show like the week or the, I think this is might be broken down into a week or two weeks each I don't know but when they break it down whatever is due or whatever is talked about during that day or that week this is my fully online class so i'm going to do it based off of the dates he put here and then when the assignments are due just so i'm fully aware of every assignment this is what helps me literally probably my biggest tip and what really really helps me stay on top of my work and not procrastinate so I write in every little assignment from just readings to discussion boards to exams to midterms so every little thing i write down three out of the four classes have posted a schedule along with the syllabus so just one didn't so i'm going to go ahead and color coordinate first i'll write every single thing down and then i'll highlight each class with their designated colors and that's what i'm about to do right now and this is such a good productivity tip because i visually am able to see what's upcoming i like to get all of my work done ahead of time so if you're somebody who struggles with procrastinating or is maybe becoming stressed out because they waited last minute and they have an assignment due and they haven't started it yet i really recommend trying this out for yourself and getting it done on a designated day where you might not have that many classes that's how i usually do it so that's another big tip for you guys with like a productivity slash study tip so i like to pick out days where i'm either not working or have maybe a day off from classes and i'll focus on getting a lot of work done that's upcoming and you guys will see more of this unfold in my actual vlogs of how i execute each week or each day or assignments you guys will see all that in my vlogs but in terms of prepping this is a big productivity tip because it helps me stay on top of my work and like I said, you visually see what's upcoming so you are not like surprised by any assignments. And that way you can get it done, check it off, and move on to something else that's upcoming. 
so that it gives you more time to actually have time for yourself for hanging out and for leisure stuff because you already got an assignment done and you don't have to worry about it. my monthly overview for both well for three of my syllabi that I have I filled out and highlighted everything I also put in when my spring break is every little date every little thing I also need to find textbooks so I have to just kind of like copy and paste and try to search for those and I just opened up this also when I was talking about my sticky notes I like to put them here is what I was saying anyways back to what I was saying I just opened up this big planner desk pad so basically you write down the month i have to fill it out myself which is nice i don't mind doing that i just write obviously the days and then over here it says the month top three for the month whatever that may be what will i do to love myself this month three monthly goals reward if achieved and then action steps to achieve those goals and then notes and reflections reflect on how you were successful what challenges you faced and how next month can be better and i'm gonna try to organize and see what my desk setup is going to be because now I have this and I don't know if I'm going to put this under yet or not but I'm going to go ahead and start filling this out like I said this I think is going to be more for my content creating since I'm really trying to work on it every single day and since I'm going to be back in school I need to stay organized and on top of it because I'm going to be balancing out all of my platforms TikTok, Instagram, and obviously YouTube so make sure you follow me on every platform that I have so I'm gonna plan out especially when I have brand things to do <laughs> organization setup is going to be i think i'm actually going to leave this pad down unless it becomes an issue and then what i might do is just put it behind standing up so i kind of have oh sorry <laughs> i kind of have my markers standing up right here um like this so that'll stay there but if not then this will go where that is pretty much and i'll like be able to look at it like that but for now i think it's gonna stay this way i have my have my glasses case I would just leave here this isn't staying on my desk my planner goes inside of my desk but since I'm I don't know if I need to open this again but I'm just gonna leave it right here for now and then down here I have my notebook where I do all my to-do lists so it fits perfectly right here anyways and then my computer obviously is right here and then I have the pad here and then obviously I just still have this guy over here so it's just a great space and then this stays where it is my journal that i do in the morning is on my alex drawer next to me and everything is clean and not too cluttered and everything kind of just makes sense for me at least right now i'm really happy that i have this because i feel like it will allow me to have my like i can push it back so it allow me to you know be on zoom and also if i'm going to be taking notes handwritten if i am i'm not sure yet i will keep you guys updated in the vlogs but Regardless, it'll just allow me to have a much more open space if I did decide to write notes. But this is my desk organization setup and having a good um, organizational setup for your desk if you are doing virtual classes or just doing your homework and stuff is really important. So if I'm doing assignments, obviously, and I'm on my desk, I want a clean space 
where I have enough room to look at things and work and maximize my productivity and study space so that I'm not distracted and have a mess everywhere so that's another big tip of mine. I'm going to be updating my Mac right now. Uh, there's a new update. I just want my Mac to be just up to date especially when you start the semester and you have so many things you're downloading it's downloading and stuff i just want my computer to be all set i already have zoom still um so i'm like set as far as like zoom for the week and then i just have that one class that is consecutively on zoom for the semester so right now i'm gonna make a alarm schedule i always like to do this just because it keeps me accountable during the week and also i don't like to wake up fun fact i don't wake up like just an hour or 30 minutes before my class I like to give myself enough time to have my full morning routine and have full time before I head and drive to campus. So this also goes along with like my productivity and just overall how I'm able to get a lot done during the day. So once you start waking up every day like that or you have a set routine weekly, it'll become a habit. So I think I'm going to do 7.45 to wake up because it gives me time to have that 15 minutes to journal and meditate before getting up out of bed at 8 o'clock so instead of putting it for 8 I'm gonna do 7:45, and I'm all set basically I think my computer is gonna restart okay I think that is actually it for everything I do to prep for the semester I will keep you guys updated with how I take notes probably I'll be doing mostly typing and then maybe for our psych class I will probably write a little bit he also posts a lot of the lectures but we'll see with the formatting and you guys will be caught up in the vlogs of each class's format because I always like to mention that because it helps give you guys an understanding of maybe why I study or take notes a certain way depending on each professor's formatting and how their style of teaching is but pretty much that sums up how I just prepped for my semester for 2022 my spring semester my last semester of college ever everything I do to prep and some productivity and study tips and basically all the things that I do to prepare for a successful semester as a college student whether you're doing school online or you're fully back in person these steps will guide you to having a great semester if you guys are new here again make sure you subscribe down below comment below what your major comment below the classes you're taking this semester and i wish you guys all the best of luck this semester as always and if you have any other questions regarding what i spoke about in today's vlog or just in general leave them below in the comments and i will get back to you guys and i'll see you guys in my next video